Hey, this is Jake from Segment, and I'm going to run through some of the advanced options in the Segment Google Analytics integration. So let's open up the options here. There's another video explaining all of these um, basic options that you can check out, but in this video, let's check out the advanced. So um, the first one is override domain name, and this was more useful in classic Google Analytics where there were issues with subdomain tracking. Um, if you're using Universal Analytics, which most, most people probably should be and all new properties will be, the, the only thing that this does is set your cookie domain. So if you want to override, by default it's just on the top level domain. So if I had a subdomain like docs.segment.io, then by default the cookie would just be set to segment.io. If you want to override that, this is where you would do that. The ignored refers section is only for classic and we'll probably be moving this to the bottom or removing it completely soon. So you used to have to just list all of the ignored refers you wanted and then you'd load that in the code on the page which we would do for you. Now you can actually take care of this inside of Google Analytics and that can be found in tracking info and then referral exclusion list. So now you'll just add all your referral exclusions here rather than in, in the code. These track named and track categorized pages is used for page tracking. So if you're naming or categorizing your pages um, through segments, so if you're doing something like analytics.page and then passing an argument like pricing, which would be the name of the page, then these will trigger an actual Google Analytics custom event when you do those pages. Um, that's just for you know another angle to use in your analysis inside of Google Analytics. You can turn that off here if you don't want that. This one's important, include the query string in page views. If you're trying to track searches or other things with query strings, or if you have like a one page app where you're tracking URL queries based on a query string, you'll want to enable this option. Anonymize IP address is kind of self-explanatory. It anonymizes the IP address to feature in Google Analytics. Um, enable enhanced link attribution. Um, this is, it, it basically just allows you to know if you have the same link on a page, like if you link to pricing in two different places, it, it allows you to tell which link was actually clicked. Um, I don't know a lot of people using that feature, but you can turn it on here. Site speed sample rate, also kind of self-explanatory. If you're at that level where you have to worry about it, you'll kind of know what to do there. Um, Use classic analytics for server side. Again, kind of phasing that out here soon. And these two, user ID and custom dimensions and metrics, I'll talk about in the next video.